Greetings and welcome to Orsted. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm really excited to return to this game. We played this game way, way, way back uh, when it was still in a demo format, and I'm pleased to say it has grown quite a bit since we've played it. This is a minimalist city builder, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very puzzly and kind of cool, and but it doesn't suffer from a lot of the other minimalist city builders uh, desire to like give you randomized tiles and then you get stuck. No, this game is a lot different than that and it's a lot more fun I think in general. So let's go ahead and play. We're going to start a brand new game here. Let's go with a large map um, and generate a, an island to play on. So let's see what we got here. Oh, this is interesting. I like this map. It's got a lot of um, uh, I don't know what this counts as. I, a lot of sea areas where we can get fish from. We've got rivers where we can get other river fish from. Um, a lot of places here. I like it. Okay, let's play this. Okay, so um, each game begins with building the ore, which is the kind of like central tower that starts generating your wisdom. Now, wisdom is used to buy everything. Um, we need to build somewhat near the coast. Um, we can arrange chopping of trees. Let's let's see where we want to have our forest. Can we see where the coal mine is? There's always a coal. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, you can't move with your mouse. Okay, you can't move the the ground with your mouse. Apparently, I don't see the coal mine uh, anywhere or the coal area. Maybe it appears only when you get the coal mine. That's an, a bit. <laughs> annoying but I guess it makes sense I mean people don't know it's useful until they have it anyway we want to build on an area of land where we can have some maybe some farming out here maybe we put the city in the center and maybe we'll have our lumberjack out here and maybe another one over there something like this so let's start with our ore right here okay so we have this uh, thing and we want to start chopping our trees. So let's just go ahead and chop a whole bunch of trees. Now, we want to build uh, roads in order to have optimal positions for houses and stuff like this. So let's see what we can do with that. Most buildings are one by one. So let's have a road here and then another road that's going to go there. Okay. And then we'll have one road that goes toward the coast which is going to be very handy to get some uh, some things like fish. And out here, we're going to have our farms. I think this is really good farming area. All right, very cool. Okay, good, good, good. And this one is here erroneously. Go away. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to fast speed. Okay, so we got our wood pile. Stockpile unlocked. Now... Little do these people know that we are really bent and determined to have our wood uh, production out here. So I kind of want to put a stockpile out there, but it definitely doesn't hurt to have a stockpile in town. And the reason for this is you need uh, heating in the winter time for your people. So we want to build a stockpile in town at least, and then probably one, I don't know, uh, requires a path. Okay, come on, guys. Build your path. Go, go, go. I'm doing a lot of chopping, and this is slowing us down a little bit. Um, but it's okay. We'll get there. It'll be fine. Okay, good. So then let's build another stockpile, say, I don't know, here or something. And then we can build our forester out from that area. If it doesn't work, we just delete it and build it again. Not a problem. So we're going to stock 10 wood and that's going to be fine. Okay, so our little people are going to go down there and they're going to take all the wood in. I love the little, like the animations, they little hop up and down. It's adorable, absolutely adorable. Oh, ooh, one thing I want to check out is, do we have, no, okay, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. And let's go, go, go. Come on, folks, go, move. All right, housing. Let's build our housing. I'm going to skip a couple of uh, one tile uh, to get these houses in here. And then I want to build these paths here. And then we're going to build some houses on this side. Okay, water collection tower here. Now, I don't really know why we have this tower. I'd really rather have. Um, 
the well, which we'll get to, but, uh, oh gosh, all of our houses are too far? Oh, that's not ideal. All right, in any case, let's build this where it makes sense for us. We'll do this here. Is that too far, too close? Oh, that's annoying. That window's annoying. All right, we're going to build it there for very specific reasons. Okay, which are, I want to include this row of houses here. Okay, let's get, oh, we got a wheat farm, good. So our wheat farms, I want to build them out here. And we can already start, hello? This is not a river or a lake. Okay, that's interesting. Why doesn't this count? This is what, oh, maybe it's because it's salt water. Probably it's because it's salt water. All right, anyway, let's build it up here. Uh, this will give us some space for farming. And we'll get to build our thingies, but we don't have water, okay. There we go, okay, we can build this here. We can build some of them there. <laughs> we need more wisdom to build the rest. Okay. Go ahead and build a road here just for quick movement speed for our uh, our people. And it does take a little while to generate the needed wisdom to get all this stuff going, but we shall have it soon. There we go. Now we can build a granary. The granary is important and what you want to do is try to extend the range as much as possible, right? So the granary's here. We might actually have to end up building some closer to our houses. Okay, when we need one granary, but we probably need like two, I would say. So there's no wheat farms. We need to extend at least one wheat farm this way to build another granary here. There we go, wheat market unlocked. So here's our wheat market. And this is where we want to have distribution. So the blue is the reach of the market uh, to the houses. So that's not <laughs> going very far. We probably, we really want to get this out here, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go there. And what this means is I'm going to build more wheat farms out here, really. Okay, granary here. Actually, I could put the granary right there. Give us a little bit more wheat farming area. Come on. Give. Not enough wisdom. 541 needed here. Come on. Let's -a go. We do get a little extra things for building stuff on a timer here. Come on. Give. That's going to give us 90. Ah, but it does look like we might need some more trees. So let's chop a few more down while our people are not that busy. Get all of these trees here. All right, there we go. Granary, let's put that here. We don't have enough yet. All right, we're still waiting on this one per second. All right, that'll give us 200 to get these houses down, but the houses cost 300 each, so that's not ideal. We could delete one of these, actually, and that'll make it a lot cheaper to build the next one. So let's build that one and get this one in instead. So rotate that one. Yep, there we go. That's going to be better. That's going to be better. And then the same thing we can do with the wheat farms out here, and that'll make them cheaper to build out here. So we can have a couple out here to feed this area. Yeah, and these we might end up training in or something like that. Okay. So come on guys, build stuff please. I need them to chop the, uh, let's see. Let's get some chopping uh, up above farming so that we can get uh, some of this wood and make these other things so our people are no longer starving because they do generate tax revenue uh, once we get our tax thing but we do need uh, to get these uh, food things in place here there's our thing we can build a house there we go we can also build houses on this side okay here we go
guess I should demolish a couple of these farms as well. Because they're kind of in the wrong place. Alright. So there we go. Getting that house built. Good. We got 30 seconds. There we go. And now we can stock a bunch of wheat. Okay. And we're also getting all this uh, lovely wood. Let's get these trees out of here. And get our population up. Okay, that's going to cost us 541. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot they had all this chopping to do. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. We can uh, cancel the harvesting there for now. And they can just carry what they have back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put farming above chopping because we really need that to get done now. And then we can, uh, we can stock more wheat. That's what we really need. And these guys, once they finish harvesting this wheat, it's going to go into the granary. And that's going to go right into the wheat market to feed these people over here. So that's, that's a nice thing. One, two. So this is going to be the next road. Here. And here. Okay. Okay, and that just, there's, we can't put on that side of the road. Okay, we'll just try to remember that. So we're going to try to stock 100 wheat. We have this granary here. And these over here. Build a house. Okay, we can try to build a house. We can't. We don't have enough wisdom. Oh no! Let's see. Does this... Where's the limit for this thing? Okay, it's right there. So we could build a road here just to kind of delineate. Alright, that's what we have covered right now. Now I'm going to try to put all of the houses in a particular... Um, orientation so that I can see stuff like the tax office a little bit more easily that kind of thing okay there we go and farms are harvesting let's get another couple of farms here and that way we can get a little bit uh, the wheat kind of put in here faster and we need to stock a bunch of wheat not just feed our people so it has to be a little bit extra. Lumberjack unlocked. Nearby trees become automatically... Uh, mm, what do you call it? Uh, mm, something. <laughs> words! Oh no! I've lost the words! Okay, let's delete this tree here. Because uh, I want to put the lumberjack right behind that tree, I think. Yeah, like right here. Okay, let's get our lumberjack here. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Now, eventually we're going to get a... Or soon, we're going to get the tree planter, the forester. Um, so we don't have to worry about um, that happening. But this... Oh, there we go. It's right here. Forester. Now, you're going to need several foresters per lumberjack, so it doesn't really matter if you place them very evenly. I kind of try to put them a little bit evenly, but not at, you know, kind of like counting tiles or anything like that, because I think I had like four or five per one lumberjack. Um, you need quite a few because they're very slow uh, at, uh, at doing this. So, all right, I'm going to let this expire and get a new one, hopefully. Uh, another house request. Alright, so we're still working on our 100 wheat. Alright, there we go. So this wheat market has three in storage. We are working on this here. Sawmill unlock. Now this is great. This produces f uh, wisdom. So we're going to put this uh, right next to the lumber thing. And I think we can actually put a lumber uh, pile closer. And then put the sawmill right next to it. I think that's a better idea. And we'll also build a couple more foresters as soon as we get the wisdom for that. The forest or the sawmill produces a lot of wisdom. 50 per second. So right now we're making 1 per second from the ore. Plus 5% happiness bonus and 6% total. So that's not a lot. But once this sawmill gets going, it's kind of great. It's pretty, pretty great. So here we go. Uh, all of a sudden, we can now plant, put all of our foresters in here, 
and I, I want to make another uh, forestry area as well. So let's go ahead and let's see, where is our lumberjack? We are there. I kind of wish it would show all of the current lumberjack positions. Oh, yes, and we have these new things which are called wisdom geodes, okay? So we have seven times all wisdom gains. We get a random kind of buff from those things, which is super handy. Um, so we get like this time limited lots of lots of wisdom thing okay let's figure out where we want this lumberjack again whoopsies so this one is here so we have like here okay i kind of wish you could do the roads uh after you place the building but you can't so let's see let's chop these chop this one and then we'll get our uh, lumberjack in here. Okay, there we go. Lumberjack. Here we go. Mm, let's go one back from this because we don't want to include the road in the the area because that kind of is like a waste of area, really. So you go there. You can go here. Placing these various foresters out here, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have a stockpile and another um, sawmill right here because that generates a ton of wisdom, is what we need here. So, uh, oh, there's another wisdom geode somewhere. Sometimes it's hard to find them. So, all right, so wood furnaces unlocked. All right, consumes wood to provide heat. Well, guess what? We need heat. So let's do that. Now that serves our population. So obviously we need to have this covering that lasts this side because we kind of have everything else covering it. So let's put that right there. And that means we can get stuff. Okay. I don't know where the wisdom geode is. I don't see it anywhere. So we might just end up skipping it, but anyway. Okay, so foresters, we have, we don't have enough wisdom. Oh no, oh no. All right, but we can make some housing. That would be nice. All right, no heat, but they're gonna get heat. And it is very handy to have a stockpile for wood here. And the foresters should bring wood to this stockpile eventually. They, they should bring it here, so it should be fine. All right, we are getting lots of population um, availability. We have 42 housing slots. But right now, we're not getting, because we have minus 5, happiness. And we need happiness for citizens to arrive. Now, it looks like they have no heat. So I think what's happening is we don't have enough wood because we have too many... Um, we have too many lumber, uh, too many uh, sawmills. So in that case, we need to have another lumberjack move in. And they can handle extra trees. And we may need more foresters for this as well. There you go. All right. And then, yeah, let's get some more foresters in here, which we can't afford. 166,000 to get another forester. Um... Or we could disable one of the sawmills. That's another thing. We're at plus zero per minute, plus one. So there might be a little bit of excess that they can get here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Man, I would love to disable this. Can I just... Um, I'm going to try to demolish this. Oh god, it deleted all the wood. <gasps> I thought it would maybe leave it on a pile on the ground. Oh no. Oh well. It's something. Anyway... They have their own stockpiles here, and hopefully they will also bring some down here. But there are other places, like if we harvest these trees here, they should bring it down to the central area of the town. Um, so yeah, oh, but we need more foresters. Wow, okay, look at that. They just clear cut all of these trees out here. That's a bit wild. All right, so 166K, that's a lot of forestry happening. Probably want to do one here between them. That would be pretty good. But yeah, there's a little bit of stuff. Okay, so bridge unlocked. That's nice. All right. 
We are actually getting a little bit of happiness since we got a little bit of wood here. That's quite good. I wish I wish there was a thing where it's like you could say, ah, put stuff in this one first, you know? That would be super handy. We might have to delete one of the sawmills, even though it's providing us with lots and lots of stuff. Um, yeah. That wisdom geode still can't find it. Wish it were a little bit more visible from afar, but that's okay. I guess they want you to look for it. All right, ocean dock unlocked. Excellent. That means we can start fishing. So let's go ahead and get some fishing going on here. Here's our first fish uh, area. And then we can get another couple here. Perhaps ocean dock. Yeah, let's go. All right, and that means we can get a fishery which is a place that collects from ocean docks. Okay, and then afterwards you get a fish market, which is a different thing. I don't understand what the, I guess it's sort of like a, you collect the fish there, it's a fish storage area. But to me, a fishery is like the dock uh, itself, but I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think it's just maybe semantics here. So let's see, we want to, Yep, let's delete this building. We probably should have left this whole row empty so that we could put these uh, handy buildings in here. But anyway, we're gonna have our fishing place right there and put in a few more houses over here. It says no heat. I'm kind of like, oh no, we need more heat. We could put another forest out here, maybe. That's a possibility. I could just delete this sawmill. That might be the uh, thing to do. Let's see. Yeah, happiness is minus 2% right now, which is not great. Let's see, 40 population. I'm thinking we delete one of the sawmills. This is, this is kind of hard, but let's delete it. And so all of our extra wood should go into, um, into the town. That's where it should go. Now it might go into here first. Uh, so we'll see how that works. But anyway, we are getting fish, which is great. People now are getting two different kinds of food. They have both wheat and fish. There's also trout. Now that's from the rivers. And then we have bread, which comes later, and apples, which comes even later. All right. So this should give us more happiness. Yep, there we go. We have a positive happiness right now. Citizens will arrive in a few seconds. So that's good. But now our income is severely crippled. I think um, we really need another forester, uh, another uh, for foresty situation happening. Lumberjack. Yeah, that's what they're called. Lumberjacks. Uh-huh. Is it there? Or one more? Man, this drives me crazy. This whole, like, this whole thing here. Not that. Lumberjack. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did it correctly here. So there, and I'm hoping that that stockpile is close enough. Tax collector, let's go. Okay, so we want to get a few tax collectors in here if we can. Okay, there we go. So we're going to put them on the middle area here. I don't know how many we can do uh, before they get extremely unhappy, but we'll try. Does it stack? Does it say that it stacks? Okay, so not enough wisdom. Oh no. Okay, so that gives us, let's see, we didn't build it yet. There it goes. Okay, so tax collector gives us plus 24%, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, we got a windmill. All right, great. All right, let's do this. I don't know how often we can put these tax collectors, but we'll see, we'll see. It feels weird to have like maybe more tax collectors than even citizens, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> eh, might be worth it. Might be worth it. Come on, guys. Oh, this the, the screen shake. I'm told that there's going to be an option for that to go away, so I'm excited about that. Uh, it probably is already in the game. I'm recording this several days before the embargo date, so... Um, yeah, because I'm just, like, wild about it. Anyway, so, tax collectors... Minus 5% happiness, stacking. Okay, so we do get more taxes, but 
Uh, we get less happiness, so... We can't afford another one, alas. What about wood? We definitely need a forester somewhere in here. Wow, it's so much money for these. So in the summer, I'm guessing we don't need wood, so that's okay. But let's see if we can do our grain mill. Um, now the grain I found kind of weird here because it takes a very long time to use what you're building. And I didn't, I thought, okay, all right, we get the grain mill, we get the thing, and then it's like you get several other improvements before you get the bakery. So I found that kind of strange. Okay, and then silo is just fine. And we do need some more houses. There we go. There's one. All right, that should be enough to get 50. Okay, so then we need to stock five grain. Actually, the windmill should be for flour, not grain. I mean, if we're talking like terminology here. All right, poor, poor woodcutter, got nothing to cut. This is very sad. Forester, 166,000 we need here. And we have a lot of people not gathering this wood. That's not great. Ooh. Okay, hold on, let me just fix my audio setup. That should be better. Okay, good, that's better. Now, we still have this wisdom geode running around here somewhere. I don't see it. Maybe I should, like, uh, reverse the view. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Now, bakery unlocked. Wow, I wonder why that happened. In my test game, it took, like, forever to unlock the bakery. I wonder how, I mean, I and I built all the grain things, I built everything as requested, and then, like, it wasn't there. And we get a well. This is great. This is fantastic, actually. Okay, so let's put the well here. Wait, where did this one goes? Up to there. So let's build the well there. So these people, because they didn't have water before, I think. It doesn't say that they don't have water. Huh. Strange. Uh, maybe the water is just for... Yeah, it looks like it's just for that stuff. Let's delete that. Demolish the well. Okay, let's get our bakery in here. We want to place that probably there, but we can't reach the thingy, can we? We have to be able to reach the, the grain thing. So, wait a second, hold on. Uh, bakery, we actually want it there. We want it this side. That's really interesting. And was it this square? It is this square. Okay. Just want to make sure which one I'm deleting. That's the tax collector, though. That's not great. Can't have that hair there. I think a lot of these things are. Yeah, they're overlapping. What I can do is just delete this grain silo or build an additional one. That's an even better idea. Put one right there. And, well, actually, we have to delete this one because they won't be able to use anything from that one. Okay, so that's where that's going to become a thing. Okay, a wisdom geo. There it is. Very nice. Yes, go, go, go. All right, 170. That means we can get some more wood. So let's build a thing here, forester. There's so much wood that is not collected. I'm surprised at this. I guess we need more people to harvest all this stuff. So let's see if we can get another house in here or two. Well, we can't get a second one yet. Uh, but happiness will, will come about soon, especially once we get this bakery going on. So this has no heat. The heat is provided by the wood furnace, which apparently we still don't have enough wood for. This guy hasn't gotten their, their stuff going on yet, so... We'll hopefully get that provided soon. There's the bakery, and it is producing excellent. They have heat. They have everything they need. Perfect. All right. Very nice. And we're getting more houses. So let's see. How's this going? The tax collector is 52%. Happiness plus 14%. How much is the new tax collector? 1.79 million. Wow, that's expensive. Okay. So we need to reach 60 population here. 
That's our next goal, but we do have a lot of wood on the ground. I'm wondering why they're not collecting all of it. Seems to be a big ask for whatever reason. Let's see, how's food going? We have 50 wheat in storage and plus zero. That tells me we probably need a wheat field or two extra. And then also some fish. Um, the fish is, is gonna be a nice thing to have. Okay, let's go some more fishing. Uh, no, ocean dock, yes. Okay, this one. All right, so this stores mackerel. All right, for the fish, fish place, let's go. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. It's good to leave a little bit of space between production and the town also. That's kind of needed. Oh, there's our happy geode. Hooray. All right, bonus wisdom based on your current wisdom. Okay, good. Not enough wisdom. We need 35,000. I wonder if regular folks can pick this up or if it's just lumberjacks that can pick up all the, the wood bits. Let's see, here's a lumberjack. They're in blue. They seem to just chop the trees. They're not actually carrying stuff. I wonder why nobody's carrying things. Eat, construct, farm, chop, process, fish. Hmm. I'm wondering if we just don't have enough employees. All right, we're at 184 wood. Let's see, how much do we have here? We have four of 90. So I think we can build another sawmill. We really need a sawmill just because it's, um, uh, we're, we don't have enough wisdom. We really need that sawmill. Okay, so now we have 98 per second. Sawmills. Okay, now we have 120 per second per, from sawmills. Hmm. So one of the things I don't understand here is we're making at the top it says 169 per second, but that act that exactly matches the sawmills to some degree. Yeah, it, it pretty much matches the sawmills plus the ore. But then we have this happiness bonus, tax collector bonus, and prestige. Is that already affecting the sawmills? Or what exactly? Let's see. Wisdom, 50 per second. I guess it is already affecting it, yeah. That makes sense. All right, very cool. And then if we were to make another forester, 509,000 we need for that. But we need more people first, I think. All right, our policies were 81% to the next policy, which is pretty great. Now these policies are based on our earnings um, and they do go up quite significantly in price. Um, so hopefully we can just get a few of those during our playthrough. That would be very nice. We'll just see how that works. And those, those are on a tab here, upgrades. We can get, oh, we have prestige one. Oh, I wonder if this is like total for all games or something. Yeah, policies can be spent on permanent upgrades, granting prestige levels. Each prestige grants plus one to all wisdom games. We already have it. Oh, so this goes from my, oh, okay. So I had my test game. I got one and um, the next one seemed like really a lot and um, I, I didn't even make any progress. So this is exciting that like new games can contribute to this. That's cool. Very cool. All right, very nice. So anyway, we are getting wood. We have things, we have stuff. These guys are not picking up the logs. I ain't getting it. I don't get it. But maybe there's just not enough citizens around. That's my guess. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. We 
need to get more citizens in order to uh, move up up the thing. I don't know. Also, looks like my auto audio setup is crashing every now and again. Sorry for that staticky sound. I am restarting the thing whenever that happens, but it's weird that it's happening multiple times during the game. This didn't happen during my test game, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's okay. All right. Wisdom everywhere. <laughs> okay. Monument of the forest unlocked. Okay. So this is a weird, weird thing. I, I, I'm kind of bewildered by this. Requires 10 plus nearby wild pine. Okay. So I think I can place it where do I place this? Okay, we can place it here. So what we want to do here effectively is we want pine to um, be in here because pine actually gives us a huge bonus, 24% of income, additional income. So eventually this thing is going to um, produce other trees in here, which we might need to cut down, especially if it's the, I think it's called witchy nettle or something like that, whatever it is. And those produce minus happiness. So we just have to monitor that and see where it goes. All right, so are we good with this? So now we need to build more roads, it looks like, to keep uh, building houses. There we go. So this center road is gonna be for tax collectors and all those kind of people. All right, coal mine unlocked. Produces coal, which requires rail transport. Now, the thing with the coal, I found out. Uh, where is the coal? Is that here? That might be the coal. All right, um, let's see. It's utilities. Okay, coal mine. Yeah, there it is. That's very small amounts of coal. Uh, here, here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll build a coal mine here. And then I'm going to put in the electricity thing out here. So we built, we're going to build a coal mine. Hmm. All right. And then we need to harvest a birch. Birch tree. Now you're wondering probably where the heck is a birch tree? Birch trees are in here. And you can harvest them with the sickle and not with the other thing. Now you can harvest these trees and they will give you wisdom, 3,000 wisdom. Now I've been told that this thing produces trees based on what is next to them. So if you want pines, make sure you harvest in a way where a pine will grow. Don't just clear cut it because that's bad. Because I did that and it's like it was only I only got those witchy things because it was empty spaces everywhere. It was terrible. Okay, so let's go to we built uh, we're going to build a coal power plant. Now this is important because I want to build this in a way where we can do some um, put some sawmills around it because these power sawmills. Oops, we need to do this instead. All right coal power plant right there this is what I mean what I, I wish we didn't have to put roads first it's very annoying okay so coal power plant goes there so what we're gonna do is take rails and connect these two things all right cool there we go all right you go there and we want another one there but we can't get there yet now you also want to build a power plant away from your people because they don't like the smell of the coal power plant imagine that you know, the uh, pollution and such. Can we build another forester out here? Yeah, we can for sure. There we go. Rail crossing. Okay, great. We got rails finally. Now rails are a transport that is needed for uh, this whole thing. Oh, we have to do the loading station first. Great. Let's do it this way. Now, the rails are a bit odd, I have to say. Very, very odd. Um, all right, so unloading is here. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't have a going toward the station at all. It has to be on the side. Okay. That's how you would do that. Okay, there we go. So these rail cars, they look like mine carts actually. 
So it didn't transport anything because it hadn't made any, I guess. Anyway, it's there's five in storage now, but it should fill up when it gets back. There we go. Okay, it has a bunch of stuff in it, and you can transport other stuff via rail as well once we get this figured out. Okay, powered sawmill produces tons of wisdom, and they're not joking. Okay, so what we want to do with that is we definitely want to replace both of our sawmills with these powered sawmills now. Let's get these, let's get two. Okay, we can't afford two. But you'll see this thing produces 10K per second and these produce 50. Not 50K, but 50. So we're gonna delete these so they don't eat up all the trees and instead send them to the powered sawmills. These are important. Okay, let's go powered sawmill, go. And then we probably want one here, 2.3 million. No big deal. Boom. Okay, so that's going to give us a lot of money right off the bat. Okay, there's our wisdom geode. All right, well, let's, yeah, let's wait for that one to get done. So we get 30 times wisdom gains. Holy crap, that's fantastic. Woohoo! Now that means we can build some more population here. Uh huh. And we're starting to get to the point where we need some more. Um, markets here I think so we're gonna need um, some let's see can we build we need to build well yeah tax collectors sure we'll build more of those and then we can do a wheat market I don't know where the other wheat this wheat market and ah of course it ends right at that line all right so let's build the other another wheat market town wheat market here ish bakery here sure um yeah all right and those guys we're gonna get i think what we need to do there is produce some um or get some train lines in here for that So, for example, we want to get a, so we have, what is this? This is a wheat market, and then we have the bakery. We also want a fish market out here, I think. All right, fish market. Oh, we need more road. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, fish market can go here too. Okay. And all this is going to increase the happiness of stuff of, of our people. So let's let's give some more. Um, let's get fishing happening here. Okay, this is going to be river dock. Oh, we don't have rivers yet. Whoops. Okay, well, it's fine. Uh, we can do an ocean dock out here. Let's just clear these guys. And we're going to need to put in the road this way. Oh, whoops. Went a little bit too far. Okay. And let's get our ocean dock. Okay. And then get our ocean fishery here to cover this area. Okay. Take that. And then we get railroad tracks. Now I wonder, I don't know if we can cross railroad tracks, but we'll, we will try. <laughs> we will definitely try. Okay, so let's um, do a provision loading station. Okay, it tells you exactly what kind of provisions you can expect. Actually, let's delete this one. Okay. Can we cross? No, why not? Why you be so mean? Dang it. Why can't we cross rails? I don't get this. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to go through here then, I think. So let's get this thing here. Okay. We're going to take this. This is probably also going to be a road right here. So this is going to be there. And then we take this here. Okay. 
And we'll put in, hopefully the fish thing is close enough there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that should work. And then this will be an unloading thing. Yep. Come on. There we go. Okay, so this should transport fish here. Where this should hold it. Yep, there we go. And supplies to the fish market. Excellent. So now we have other things. So this is, let's see, the wheat market and the bakery. That's going to be a little bit more easily solvable because we can get water from this lake. And I think that's probably the better way to do this is just have those, um, those things here. Okay. There we go. And then we get a granary, and that's well within... Oh, no, it's not within the... Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, well, we'll put it here, say, because across the street won't... Actually, it does work. It does work across the street. It does work there. Okay, so that's fine. And then we can have our windmill and the grain silo as well. Grain silo has to go there, I think. Yep, for the bakery. All right, very cool. So we'll wait for the wheat to, to happen there, but that, that makes it easier. We don't have to have a train going there, but you can use a train to do various things. And um, maybe what you do if you have an ongoing city is have these things actually change the stop to go the other way. Yeah. Let's see, rotate this one, unloading station. Ah. There we go, like this. And then have them go up, right? So this little minecart can, once this one fills up, go to the next one along the line um, and fill that one as well. Or just move this one further and serve two of them along this line. That's another, it's serving this one though too, so. That's available. But yeah, maybe move this one further so that when we get the next one, we, we use that one there. All right, so let's just put these here. And then we have an end point for our housing. Okay, there we go. Looking good, looking very good. All right, we have another prestige point. This is pretty great. So. Let's look at our upgrades and we can get this first contact. Wow. Plus 10% all wisdom gains. Let's go. Wow, we're way down on wisdom. What is going on with this? Why? Mm. Uh, hello? Coal power plant requirements not met. What? Why? Abandoned. I don't understand this. Why Why is it not met? Hello? Uh, hello? I don't understand why it's, what, what happened to it. I didn't do anything to it. All I did was build a railroad next to it. Uh, all right, let's look at this again. Utilities, coal power plant, requires path. Okay. Let's try deleting it and replacing it. Let's try to get this out, because it does have a path, technically. Ah, but it doesn't like this path. Okay, let's, let's try this side. This might be a bug that I will definitely report. Yeah, that seems to be a bug. All right, at least we have another option here for this. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, let's get this stuff here. Wait, what? Hello? Okay, didn't like that at all. Okay, there we go. All right, so now our sawmills are working again and we're finally getting a little bit more wisdom here coming in from our sawmills. So that's good. Oh boy, that was very scary. All right, wisdom geode is somewhere on our island. I don't know where it is. I don't really like this hide and seek silliness. I'm not really a fan of that at all, just FYI. Also, we do have some of these um, other trees that we can harvest. The pines give us benefit, the other trees don't. So let's get rid of all the birches 
and then we can harvest some of the trees for uh, for wisdom, the pine trees, just as long as we know that they're going to grow back. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, ooh, that's that's better. Okay, excellent, good, yes, yes, good. Now build a village house and a log cabin. Let's do the log cabin first. That one's been sitting on our thing for a while. These are to improve our foresters. Oh gosh, that's expensive again. So let's see what it does. Improves nearby foresters. Okay, so we definitely need more foresters in this area, by the way. It's been a little bit kind of iffy here. Let's build one like there and then one here between these two lumberjack places. Okay, and then let's do another log cabin out here if we can. 118 million is needed, so that's get that real quick. Come on, thing. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Good. And we'll probably need one here as well, but that's going to be more expensive. 1.94 billion. Yo. All right, now. Oh, there goes the sound again. I don't, what, I don't know what's going on with the sound here. Anyway, now we have an opportunity to build things called village houses. Now, it's more housing. That's a stretch saying that, I have to say. Um... But yeah, it, it provides three three spaces. Okay, we also need a wood furnace here. Uh, this one will reach that over there. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to need another stockpile here soon. But anyway, um, they also get give us access to a thing called a library, which increases our bonuses massively. Okay, we need 29 million to build one of these. Now, we're, we are going to get recreation. You see it says no recreation. So I was like, okay, grumble, grumble. All right, let's harvest a few of these trees. Okay. Those give us a little bit of wisdom. Not sure how cutting a tree can give you wisdom, but that's okay. We'll go with it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's put our first village house here. Once we get that built, we're going to get the park, which is recreation. And then we should get the library as well. There we go. There's our park. Let's go ahead and put this in the most uh, applicable spot. Let's just put this here. And we'll have a row of regular houses on the outside. I want to leave this inside area for kind of all of the... Um, the essential buildings like tax collectors and other things like this all right hopefully that means we can soon get the library harvest a wisdom geode oh god where are those dang geodes i don't know this hide and seek i'm not a fan it feels like a, a just a chore you know look for it i still don't see it i don't know Maybe doing the map this way is better. You can see it better or something. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay. I would have seen it. Oh, no. It might have been behind the thing. Okay. All right. We got the thing. Now, population. Let's keep on building here. Oh, that's right. This... Wait. Is this area included? It is. Why aren't we building there? Huh. How silly of me. It is included in the plan. All right, very good. Now village houses get expensive very quickly. So we can't really build a whole lot of them initially. All right, farmhouse. Now we can improve nearby farms with a farmhouse. Let's build a couple of those. We can build one here, for example, and out probably here. Let's build that one there. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Now the library. Come on, library. Let's go. We want you. Meanwhile, we can keep improving our population with small houses as well. Alright. Happiness is good. Alright, now we can build a library. Multiplies wisdom gains and stacks multiplicatively. Uh, that's nice. I 
it's really nice to have the library so we probably can put the libraries on this side i'm thinking so 480 million for the first one that's quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a lot. Oh boy. Let's see if we can harvest some wisdom in our forest over here. Uh, birches go first, of course. Let's just do every other tree, kind of. And corners are okay, too. Okay. How much again? 480 million. Wow, we didn't really get a lot from that harvest, did we? Not much at all. Okay, so we are getting wood. Do we have enough? We have tons of wood here. So let's build another sawmill. Powered sawmill in specific. Build several. Why not? Also build another forester here. this geode harvested and then here we can also build a log cabin which is billions so no not great that's not a lot um we were looking for libraries which was what 480 million or something it was a lot of money a lot of a lot a lot of okay 129 housing space let's build a small house if we can no we cannot Oh, 480 is the cost of, of the library. Oh, no. Oh, no. But the library gives us a huge, huge, huge benefit. So we need to watch out. We actually need to watch out for more geodes. I'm really surprised at the amount of logs here. I'm, I'm still, like, shocked that they're not, not uh, collecting them. But I'm wondering if it's just not enough population for the amount of jobs we have or something. Um, I'm tempted to just delete these. Uh, I don't know if there are people manning these things or not. Hmm. Alright, they're chopping and chopping. They're doing their thing. And I would love to get this. We get a sheep pen as well if we get another house. However, the houses are prohibitively expensive right now. It's not ideal. Not ideal for sure. Mm, okay. What can we do to fix this situation? We have already gotten quite a lot of, um, of powered sawmills. We have pretty decent happiness. We've got a t our tax collectors. How much is for the... N oh, the next tax collector was, like, enormously expensive. 480 million. Okay. Everything is 480 million. Hmm. This seems very fishy to me. All right, what did we get? Bonus wisdom based on current wisdom. I don't want bonus wisdom. I want, like, seven times wisdom, please. That would actually make a difference. So... Let's see, we could, do we need more farming? Are we stable with bread? We have a hundred grain. We could buy another um, granary, technically. How expensive is that? Probably not, no, it's just thousands. It's okay, it's very, very cheap in other words. There we go. I don't know how fast this, okay, it does six per minute. So that's, I think that's pretty decent. We don't really need much more than that. Do we have a bread amount? There's wheat. This is grain. Here's bread. We have 18 bread. That doesn't seem like a lot. Let's see. How much can, well, no, actually in storage we can have t 10 bread. So 18 is like basically the whole, the whole thing here. Um, and they produce 12 per minute. Okay. Just wondering, do we need more, less? Seems to be a good amount for what we have here. So we're at 396 million. Let's go ahead and try to chop our trees again over here. Does this give us different 7.9 million wisdom? Okay. Let's just be very scientific about this and just do every tree that we reasonably can here. You, and you, 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 and you, and you, and try to just get all the ones that are, like,
like every other one. Oh, wow, we got a lot of wisdom from that. Okay, good. So now, now, let's get this magic building called a library. Ah, it's gonna be good. So, so far, we only have these guys within range of the library. So let's put our first one there. Okay, and then the next one is gonna be two trillion. But watch our income. We have 311. That was, well, yeah, about, around 311. Okay. And now we have, we're going to have more. Let's see. 311,000. Now we're at 65 million. This gave us 61,000%. Hmm? That's a lot. And this is only drawing on these three houses. Now, I don't know why... 61,000%. Is that the houses within range? I'm not actually sure. Do we, if we move a library closer, does it give us that number? 60,000%. No. It doesn't, it doesn't really say. Maybe it's for the entire town. I'm not really sure, but we can use this to our benefit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do another village house or two. Because that's going to increase this. So we have 61,800 percent. 61,800. Let's add a couple more houses. 61,800. I want to see how this changes. And if it changes also if we add regular housing. Now that's going to also be quite important, I think. Okay, so now we're at 64,200, right? But the trick is you can add more of these things. You can add many libraries and get additional bonuses. Uh, so it's a bit crazy. Okay, this one is two trillion. We don't have the trillions yet, but we do have another tax collector we can add. Boom, 210 million. Let's see how many we can get now. We're at 210 million. Okay, so we had 210. Now we are at 230. That can't be right. Well, I guess tax collectors don't really add that much to us. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They do add something, I think. They do add something. Anyway, um. So we are getting some amount of stuff back, which is good. Uh, all right, so now we can build sheep pens. Now the sheep pens are kind of funny because they you make hats for people, which I find very amusing. So let's start building this. Let's build a sheep pen or two. Build these here. And then we are gonna need a shearer or several, actually. We need several shearers. You know what? I don't wanna build them there. I wanna build them uh, out here. Where's grassland? Okay, so we can build them here. You don't really need a lot of sheep pens. You need more shearers, by the way. All right, shearer. Let's go. Probably three is good. And a milliner who makes hats. Okay. So the Milner has a huge, huge area of effect here. So we can cover the entire city with hats, right? Just right there. Which is kind of awesome. But you do need a lot of several shearers to make this happen. So now we need to distribute 10 hats, which is just fine. All right, so I want to check this library. So we're at 64,200. If we add houses here in range, oops, that's the wrong direction. I like them to be consistent so I can tell other buildings quickly. 64,200. Okay, no, they don't, it, regular houses don't matter for this at all. Only 
the fancy houses. And these get expensive very quickly. That's okay, they bring us extra income. Hooray! Let's see, do we need another milliner? Do we have enough... Um, See, we have enough uh, wool and stuff. Let's go ahead and build another milliner, maybe. This is within the guidelines, but let's go a little bit further. Just kind of barely scratching the surface of those um, shearers there. Okay, we're getting there. We have 156 population. We need a little bit more. There we go. And we're actually way, way over time here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead and stop uh, the episode for now. I got a little bit carried away. I thought, ah, oh, just go a little bit longer, a little bit longer. But I think it's a good time to stop. So if you enjoyed this video, do please give it a like. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff and really helps uh, the channel to grow. And if you know anybody who would be interested in this game, do share the video with them. Subscribe if you're not because we're on our way to 175,000 subscribers and I really would like to get there soon. It would be amazing. So uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.